Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a little DIY from turning this Marilyn Manson t-shirt into a ladies dress. But before we get into that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss anything that you see today in the video, subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell so that you get a notification every time I upload. Right, back to the video. So. This Marilyn Manson t-shirt, I actually bought one for my husband and one for me uh, from H&M uh, about six months a year ago because they were 2 dollars um, and we realised the reason that they're 2 dollars is because of this. You see, it's all rather badly uh, worn. So I decided that I would turn mine into a dress and then completely forgot about it. And when I did the goth tag video, loads of people were saying that they loved all the, the talk of DIY and how we used to DIY back in the day. Uh, and it got me thinking, why on earth don't I just DIY that dress? So I'm going to turn this t-shirt into an off-the-shoulder bardo style bodycon dress. So this is the Marilyn Manson t-shirt. It's an extra large fellas t-shirt, you know, boring, slobby, not in any way figure hugging or you know girly particularly I want it to be a lot more fitted and I want to have a bardo neckline so keep watching right so for this DIY I've got my Marilyn Manson t-shirt I've got a pair of material scissors you can use any scissors as long as they're really sharp so that they cut the material nicely some tailor's chalk again you can use normal chalk and just sharpen it to a point or a white eyeliner whatever you've got around and this rogue and wolf dress that I'm going to use as a pattern. Now I'm going to lay this out on the floor, draw around it and cut around it because the carpet stops the material from moving about when you're trying to cut it whereas if I try and do it on the table here it'll probably slide about. And then when I sew it together I'm going to use my overlocker which you can use a sewing machine, the overlocker just cuts and seams at the same time uh, or you can stitch it by hand if you really want to. But I've had this overlocker and my husband moans I don't use it so I'm going to use my overlocker. I've laid the Rogue and Wolf dress over the top of the Marilyn Manson t-shirt and I'm drawing slightly wider than the seams on the Rogue and Wolf dress because it is too small for me. I've made sure that the top of the neckline on the Rogue and Wolf dress matches the top of the shoulders on the Marilyn Manson t-shirt and I've drawn the neckline down so that it just skims the bottom of the collar on the Marilyn Manson t-shirt so when you cut the collar off there is no thickened fabric. I'm now cutting the sides and the sleeves off of the t-shirt so that I have now left with my dress. Now I'm going to trim off any little bits of extra stitching, any doubled up layers of fabric so that it is all one smooth thin layer of fabric so that it's ready for sewing together. So I brought the cut dress up to the overlocker, I'm turning it inside out and then making sure that all the seams match up together so that when I overlock it together the seam is on the inside and you can't see it. I have taken the cutting blade off of the overlocker so that it only sews the sides together, doesn't cut the fabric. One side overlocked together. So I've tried on the dress, stitched up at the sides, and it's too baggy here under the arms, which I will show you in another clip. Uh, and it's too baggy at the top here, there's too much material here. This is my practice dress that I did with one of my old band's t-shirts. I thought when I cut it, I slightly tweaked the cut when I cut it, so I was hoping that you wouldn't get this gape, but it didn't, which is why I've then used the overlocker to snip out a bit here. And again, I thought that I had, because the sleeve shape is slightly different on a Marilyn Manson t-shirt, it would negate this, but that is why Again, in the video, you'll watch me shape the, uh, the shoulders. So we're going to trim it down and then we're going to use the special foot on the overlocker. It's got a special cutting blade and we're going to use that to cut off the material rather than me cutting it with the scissors. Of course, if you don't have an overlocker, you can just cut it with the scissors and then sew it back together. But this is far quicker for me. So the first thing I'm going to do is mark a new underarm area with the tailor's chalk. Again, I'm just doing this by eye. It doesn't really matter, I can just keep rectifying it and here I'm going to take off about a quarter of an inch there make sure you can see this. Okay, 
Okay, hopefully that should be a much better shape now on the shoulders. All those nice bits. Right, just try the other side. So, this is the finished dress. I'm really pleased, really pleased. Um, I've just rolled the, the jersey here, because it does that anyway. I don't know if you noticed when I was sewing it was ro rolling itself. You just roll it here and do the same on the sleeves, roll it on itself, and it just rolls up so you don't even need to actually edge it, which is fantastic. And it means then if you cut it a bit wonky, it doesn't matter. You can't tell, as long as it's not really, really wibbledy wobbledy, it's fine. I'm really pleased with this. It's taken it from a very drab, boring t-shirt to a very nice little dress. So I'm very pleased. Well, heavy metal maidens and masters, I hope you enjoyed that video. I really enjoyed making it. It looks really good, doesn't it? I'm really quite chuffed. Very feminine now and definitely something I would actually wear rather than a big baggy old boys t-shirt which there is not a hope in hell of me ever wearing. It is not my aesthetic at all. I like figure hugging. So again, comment in, down below if there is anything that you would like to discuss, particularly if you want any tips or hints on how I did anything. Uh, let me know if you would like me to do any more of these DIY videos. I was thinking I might do a DIY jewellery making video soon. Uh, and remember, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and remember people, stay heavy.